Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna teach you a very cool trick. Now there are so many things in life uh, whether you like them or not you just must do them. Uh, if it's a Monday no matter if you have Monday blues and if you have to go to work if you have to go to college school university you just must do that. Similarly if you are a web developer and you need to tackle uh, Internet Explorer no matter how much you hate it you just must do that and especially if it's IE 6, 7 and 8 you just have to do it you just have to tackle the uh, you know the cross browser uh, compatibility uh, issues because we, uh, we all know uh, how IE renders uh, things a little differently sometimes a lot differently okay so uh, today's topic is IE specific conditional classes and in one of my earlier tutorials I talked about uh, uh, conditional classes they are also called conditional statements today uh, it's a lot it's, it's a lot easier actually to deal with the conditional classes so instead of having a separate style sheet which is a conditional style sheet we, we can have conditional classes too. Okay, I've uh, actually pre written the code, which is uh, pretty simple. I don't need to uh, write it again. I can quite easily explain it to you. But before I do that, let me show you a preview up in, uh, let's say, first in uh, Google Chrome. Now you see a box out here, it's actually a div, a division, and you see it has a very darkish uh, fire brick color you know this box has a uh, this div has a class of box and it's acquiring the uh, CSS rule from here okay so inside the body tag we have one single div uh, that has a class box and since it has this class box it's gonna acquire the uh, color background color fire brick width and height of 400 pixels each okay cool but uh, let's have a look uh, in the browser first so let's preview it up in uh, Google Chrome to see if uh, the, you know it reflects the same thing yes it does okay but now let's uh, deal with IE let's say for whatever reason uh, I would want it to appear a little differently in IE uh, or let's say it, it's appearing a little differently in IE and I want to tweak it so how do we tweak uh, things in IE that's what this tutorial is all about so let's uh, preview it up in IE first okay <laughs> now look uh, it, it shows up a completely different color in IE that's because I told it so I asked it to appear a little differently since I, I, I can uh, do that since I can tweak the rule uh, when it does not render properly in IE I might as well undo that okay so let's do one more thing let's go to the tools out here and that will allow us to go to the uh, developer tools okay now the developer tools will allow us to change the uh, version so I'm in uh, browser mode 9 let me switch to 8 this is Dodger blue background color and this is the gold background color the color name is gold okay so we see that uh, whether it's IE 6 uh, whether it's IE 7 8 or 9 I'm not able to check it in IE 6 uh, at the moment okay uh, because the developer, pool, uh, developer tool does not allow me to do it I can check 7 and up nevertheless uh, since I can can tweak the background color I can tweak anything at all so just in case uh, my property appears a little differently in IE or any version of IE I am in a position to uh, make it consistent with other browsers that's the whole point that I want to drive and all this uh, happened because of conditional classes uh, that were written specifically for IE and different versions of IE <coughs> excuse me okay now let's talk about the uh, structure of uh, the code area in fact uh, it starts out here I'm using the HTML5 doc type and immediately after that we usually have just the HTML tag but I have a set of rule out here I have a set of uh, statements out here 
what uh, and, and you can uh, pretty much see that they are dulled out they are grayed out okay what do these statements the, the whole magic is out here in this these uh, bunch of uh, five lines the whole magic is out here okay and it must be written exactly the way you see it on the screen right now uh, it says if LTIE 7 which means if uh, the version of the browser is lower than LT stands for lower than Internet Explorer 7 then automatically attach the class IE6 to the HTML tag that's it that's all that it means in the next line we write if IE7 so if the version is uh, Internet Explorer 7 then attach the class IE7 to the HTML tag else if uh, it's IE8 the uh, browser version is IE8 then attach the class IE8 to the HTML tag <coughs> excuse me else if uh, the version is IE9 uh, then the HTML tag should acquire the class I should get the class IE9 or else if the browser version is greater than IE9 or if it's not IE at all if you put an exclamation sign and then say IE it means if it is not IE at all then do not apply any class to HTML tag let it let it be as is let it be just the original HTML tag without any change without any class attached to it that is what these five lines actually mean so you need to just push it exactly where I pushed it exactly the way I pushed it okay and then you need to code out so we have the opening head tag the meta tag out here again let me tell you I'm using uh, HTML5 the opening and the closing title tags okay with the relevant title out here now this is the opening style tag people and this is the closing style tag and the you know the classes the conditional classes have been pushed out here let's say the uh, IE version is 9 automatically the HTML would acquire the version 9 let me show you something once again let's go out here let's go to IE and let's go to the uh, developer tool once again okay notice automatically the HTML acquires the class IE9 and if I switch to IE8 view notice how the HTML tag acquires the class IE8 and that is responsible for the change okay now since let's say if uh, the IE version is 9 what will happen is if the class box uh, appears inside IE9 class since the HTML tag has the IE9 class uh, that's bound to happen so if you have a div out here with the class box um, since uh, you see what what is happening out here is since the HTML which is the outermost tag has the class uh, IE9 this class box is then uh, occurring inside the uh, IE9 class that is why you see that color change so I've clearly defined out here if the the class box occurs inside uh, IE9 class then the background color should be fuchsia the width and height should be 400 uh, 400 pixels each but if the class box occurs uh, inside uh, the class IE8 now that's bound to happen if and only if the browser version is IE8 the HTML tag is on then uh, automatically latch on to the uh, IE8 class and then any element that has the class box is go, uh, you know is, uh, is gonna occur the class box is gonna occur inside it's gonna be a descendant rule descendant of what of the IE8 class right 
So if class box is inside IE8 class, then the background color should be Dodger blue, the width and height should be 400 each. But if the browser is IE7, then the class box is surely going to be a inside IE7 because HTML tag is going to acquire this class and the background color is going to change to blue, oh, sorry, gold. And in the end, if IE version is greater than 9 or if it is not IE at all, if it is Firefox, if it is Chrome, Opera, Safari or any other browser, in which case the HTML, ta uh, HTML tag is not going to have any class at all. Uh, this division out here is going to have just one class box and therefore it just gets this color fire brick and that's it it doesn't get the color gold the fire brick is not overridden by gold dodger blue or she fuchsia I know it sounds a little uh, twisted a little tricky but actually it's pretty simple if you think a little harder it's not that difficult to understand at least I made a very uh, honest attempt uh, to do so alright so people I hope you uh, learned uh, something from this tutorial and I hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day bye bye peace